Welcome, Legend, to the Chillin' Channel. In this vid, I'll be talking about my first impressions on playing Star Citizen for the very first time. Let's get straight into it. So as you begin to download the game, I think it's like about 80 gig worth. This is right after the 3.18.2 patch, and I believe the 3.19 is uh, coming up very soon. But um, on the site here, we can see there's actually updates almost every single day. You actually go to their official website, it seems like they're just updating like every hour on um, any fixes and all that kind of stuff. Um, on the side here, patch notes, uh, again, we're at the latest uh, patch, 3.18.2, uh, with 3.19 uh, in the works uh, at this very moment as I'm talking now. So um, it's actually one thing I've realized they've actually, um, they're, they're on board of like getting these bugs like fucking fixed and glitches and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, which is good to hear. But anyway, let's launch the game and um, yeah, go from there. At the main menu, you are greeted with three game modes. Persistent Universe is your open world, which is where you can do contracts, visit planets, upgrade your inventory, buy ships, and etc. etc. Star Marine is your first person shootout, which happens in kind of a fixed environment with uh, two game modes. Uh, the next one, Arena Commander, is your space dogfights and your space racing. Uh, to your right is your list of friends, which you can invite into your squad. And uh, that's just about it. So we'll click on Persistent Universe and go to the next screen. Once you've uh, pressed on a Persistent Universe, you're met with this screen. Uh, select your region where you want to, uh, where your server location is. Uh, before enter Star Citizen Universe, you might want to check with your friends where they've actually loaded into first. Otherwise, you're going to be hyper driving to each of your location. Um, until you actually save your uh, spawn point in their universe or on their planet, that kind of thing. Uh, before going into that, you might want to go to character customization. You get the choice between the female and a male. With this, I've had problems with actually accepting uh, this, say, person. Uh, once you go save, it will come up as an error. Unable to save changes, try again. This is after going, say, begin blending and then going through all your options um you know just tweaking like tweaking the narrowness and the wideness of their general uh body part kind of thing uh even go and review accept save and it still comes up with error so this is right after that 3.18 patch so it might be I, I don't know it might it might work for you guys but it doesn't work for me so i just cancel it and leave and then just get straight into enter Star Citizen Universe. When you get to the loading screen, you may find it doesn't load uh, the game after about a minute or two. If you find that this thing is on loop, you may need to go back to the main menu where your three game modes are and click on Arena Commander. Enter a racing match, get out of that racing match and then go back to your persistent universe Click on enter Star Citizen Universe and hopefully that will fix the problem. Uh, for me, it was exactly that. So um, after about a minute or two, I end up loading up in my bed and uh, or my spawn point and away I go. So here you go. You start off in uh, your little spawn area. Uh, for me, it's in the Stanton Universe. Uh, right off the bat, I'm getting about 40, 50 frames per second, uh, which is a bit unfortunate considering this game's not even optimized after 10 years in alpha mode. But uh, hey, it's still it's, at this time, it is still playable. So I was getting keen on it. Um, a little bit of, uh, yeah, again, frame drops when you come across like AI, uh, some glitches and bugs here and there. But uh, hey, I was, I was getting excited. I end up catching up with uh, Ryujins. Um, yeah, a little thing with uh, with your squad. Your squad may, if you're running behind them, they may actually just come to a standstill and uh, yeah, just spawn in a totally different location. So I'm um, trying to, when you're following a uh, certain team member, they you might actually lose <laughs> you might actually lose track of them uh, after a while. The metro. So depending on your place of residency, you may or may not have a metro that you can actually jump on. Uh, this one here at uh, New Babbage was able to take us to our spaceport, which uh, we will be able to retrieve our own spacecraft and also rent out other spacecrafts. 
which is uh, pretty cool. Um, other stops include like a local shopping area, so, like an arcade or they call promenade from Coleman's. Uh, this allowed us to customize our characters like uh, undersuit, the, also the armor, the type of armor you want to wear. And the armor can get pretty cool, like especially if it's got more slots and you're just sticking all these freaking grenades on you, like you can look boss as. Um, other than that, you got a whole another shop for your gun range uh, for yourself personal use and also your, for your spacecraft uh, and also another shop for like hyper drives for your spacecraft which would actually allow you to um, like project from one place to another a lot faster or a lot further um, in space there so yeah pretty cool pretty cool stuff so what do i uh, think about this game um i'm keen on it i'll put it that way i'm keen on it uh i've done uh, another two streams or two uh, sessions at this game. I've experienced mining for the first time, which is actually getting an overhaul soon. And um, I've actually ended up getting a crime stat of four or five. So now I'm, uh, I'm in prison. So yeah, that's that's a that's different. <laughs> Try to uh, escape out of it with um, Imperius the other night, and uh, just made it outside the. The, the opening of the surface and uh, missed my step and um, plummeted to the ground and uh, yeah so I got like another nine and a half hours inside the prison or uh, doing mining or whatever so that's that's different that's different <laughs> other than that like it like it does have its glitches and bugs I mean yeah you know 10 years it's how far and um, yeah still roaming about something that looks like could be a standard fix I guess I'm not all. I'm not too sure. I just I just don't want to be uh, end up like a another star citizen and uh, get a hit of that hopium in the arm and uh, expect the patch to come out like they say in the next week or two, but it's actually the next year or five. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll wait. We'll, we'll just see, I guess. Um, but yeah, hopefully they can fix those like little, little little bugs and glitches, like the monorail coming off the track and. AI standing around in random areas and getting slingshotted into the endless void of the universe. Um, AI, when you're doing shootouts, the uh, first person shootouts are a bit easy. I hope they do get a little bit harder as uh, you progress uh, throughout your task. It would be a bit cool. One of the cool things actually before I end is just uh, retrieving your spacecraft and depending on the size of this thing, like you, you, you're just like when you're heading to it, you exit the elevator, you either turn left and turn right, and then freaking bam, like there it is. And these things can get freaking massive. And just to be, just be like walking up to one and like either taking the elevator or however you got to get into the thing, it's a, it's a pretty cool experience. And then also just making your way to the, the cockpit and um, sitting in your seat, like your seat might have a bit of a cinema, um, cinematic or fucking movement or whatever. and yeah, you sit in it, turns it around and puts you in front of the displays and I thought it was a pretty freaking cool thing. I, I can't be the only one here that uh, thinks that. Um, other than that, like the first person shooting, the shootouts, they can be so cool, like going in your bunkers and clearing out abandoned ships. Like It's just, it's just a bit annoying that the, the AI is a bit docile. It takes, like, it's not much of a, a, fight, uh, like a firefight kind of thing. But it did have it did have alien like the alien movie vibes. It did have like the colonial marine vibes, going down in the bunker and you know, here to clear out a freaking area or retrieve something. But just, all I can think about is just yeah, like the aliens just start coming out and you just have this massive firefight like with whoever you're with. And I do I will add like who you're with, like get some get some mates on board. Like it's a lot fun if you're uh, with mates and just like roaming around uh, space doing shit getting up to shenanigans and all that kind of stuff so yeah it's one thing I would actually recommend if anything playing this game um, I believe that's it uh, so, yeah, yeah just if you got any questions or uh, what like what do you think about the game just put them in the comments below I'm looking actually forward to actually seeing what you guys got on mine uh, other than that thanks for watching and have a great week ahead cheers